What's wrong? What do you mean, what's wrong? Where's your trust? Huh? Where, 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 where's your faith? I got a son, Mr. Escuela. I want him to live. It's by staying together that we live. Come on! Morning, God I suppose. Goddamn the lot of you. Josiah? I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> but I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. No, no let's not get over sentimental. Well, the place is quiet. Get out of here. Go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time... He must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got... I've saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiations. Let's go. Putting on a brave face. Good. This way. I also have some men meeting me there. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to help. <laughs> Thank you for doing this, both of you. You have already done so much. Ain't a problem. Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. That shouldn't have gotten involved. Now Eagle flies us under arrest. It certainly won't help our case today. I will find a way to help him. I promise you. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld. How can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Captain Monroe will be at the meeting, and he knows the true situation at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement.
Here we are. There's my men up ahead. Hello. Whoa. That's good. We chase a killer now. Kola, which young pig? Hilpo. Bunyapik Telo. Excuse me. This way. Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. Yeah. Listen, Mr. Um, <coughs> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. What is it? In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm, I'm... I'm sure they do. Listen. We're all Americans here. And we want an outcome. But quite frankly... Quite frankly, I, I'm confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. <coughs> Keep breaking peace treaties we've made causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So, let me be very... Are you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? You're a gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, <gasps> Rains' fault. Exactly. Yeah. Chief Rains, the thing it's quite is, a cough. The federal government. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or attempt to he's going to make a disgrace of him monroe he seems likable enough for a west pointer why you know what favors is like because he thinks it's right because he thinks monroe is a patsy or a spy he's convinced he has something to do with those vaccines getting stolen he thinks monroe is going to force him into making a concession with the indians so he removes monroe removes how Favors wants him tried for treason and hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. You know what they say about him. Hightail Favors, the man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate... Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> so, I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan, too, sir? You insult me. 
You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, right. Captain Monroe, let's get out of here. Hi, if I, I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man. But you son of a bitch. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Time to get out of here. I got a shot. You won't get away with this. What are you doing? Don't be dumb. I'll Open kill fire you. on me. Ah! Out this way. Come on. Easy. Oh, yep. Not really. What do we do now? You get out of here. Fast. Take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talking. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? You can't worry about that now. I... Guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. Yeah. Captain Monroe. I 
fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat. We'll avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Meet me at the reservation. Hmm? <coughs> Reverend? Reverend. What are you doing here? Uh, I'm leaving. Running away? Yeah, I suppose so. I'm, I'm running away. I, I tried to make Dutch see sense, but he's very strange recently. And the women? Little Jack? You're leaving them? I told them to run, too. I asked them to come with me, and they wouldn't. I've changed. I'm a changed man, Arthur. I won't die over some... Nonsense, spouted by a fool. I ain't changed. I'm still a bad man. Maybe your path isn't changing, Arthur. My path is coming to an end, Reverend. I know, son. I know. And I know that you will face your destiny like a man, like a warrior. Because that's what you are. That's all I am. A fighter. A killer. And a uh, crazy man. So be it. You lived your way. You'll die your way. But in the time that you have left, don't compromise. And you'll do everything that you have to do just fine. We'll see. <clears throat> I don't have to see. I know you. Fight and keep fighting. Okay. Good luck out there. Be true to yourself, Mr. Morgan. And leave the lies and the hypocrisy to fools like me. Hello, Charles. Thank you for coming. Of course. The chief, he's, uh... He's very... Maybe you could speak to him? Yes, yes. Why, well, I can't. He's in his tent. Joe. Sure. I'll wait for you here. Hello? <coughs> Mr. Morgan. Come in. I'm so glad you could make it. How are you? My son. My son is foolish, but he's still my son. I know your son. A little. He's very brave. Very angry. <laughs> he's me. How is your father? He's dead a long time. He lived a lot longer than was good for any of us. My son probably wishes the same to me. <laughs> I doubt that. I want peace. I need my people to be safe. All my life I've tried to bring peace. But I love my son. They'll hang him for treason. Treason. He is the chief son of a proud nation. How could he commit treason? And people who have lied to my people for... A hundred years or more, that's treason. Well... What should I do? I don't think there's much chance reasoning with Colonel Favor. No. And any chance we had, your friend, Mr. Vanderland, has ensured relations between us and the Army are worse than any point in the last five years. I'm sure he means well. But matters are more... Complex than he understands. Well, 
Me and Charles will try and rescue your son. No. Yes. Yes. I ain't got much to lose, and you got... I'm doing this. Charles! Where are you? Come on, let's go. We need to get his son back, of course. I just ain't sure how. I've been working on that. I think there's a way. Follow me. I've been scouting the fort. The army are patrolling all the main roads and bridges in and out, but if we can get the horses across the river, I found a route that should get us in fairly close. If we wait until late enough, there's a place we should be able to sneak in around the back. Okay, whatever you think. I trust you. No guns, just knives and arrows. If we start making a lot of noise, he'll be dead before we get close to him. Okay. I left two canoes down river, in case we need another way out of there. Okay, good. <laughs> good. You know, this wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Dutch. Yeah, but we all went along with it. He saw eagle flies burn hot, and he fanned the flames. He never had any intention of helping those people. This point? I ain't sure if he's got any intention of even getting us out of here. He could be stringing everyone along. But he's holding all the money. Ain't that crazy. You feel that? There's rain on the wind. I know. Listen, Charles. If it goes bad in there, you get yourself out. You got more to lose. No. Come on. Don't start talking like that. Uh, I didn't tell you before, but... I saw a doctor. It's pretty bad. <laughs> well, it's gonna get worse. Oh, Arthur. Any day we can die, hmm? We're riding to break an Indian chief's son out of a cavalry fort. We could both die tonight. In a way, it is a gift to know. In a way, you are lucky. Sure don't feel like that. You still have time to make amends. The others, Hosea, Lenny, Sean, all them, they didn't. And what about the Calendar boys? Both killed trying to escape Blackwater? A more vicious pair of bastards than ever was. And that's all they ever were and will be. Maybe. You're lucky. You got the chance to... to do something better. My guess is maybe that's why you're here now. I'm here now because Dutch asked me to. I need to keep playing along with his plan until I find out where all that money's hidden. Okay. Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. That current's strong. Up here. Follow me. Uh, you were right about the damn rain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But might help us with sneaking in there. The rain's fall told me there was some retaliation after the meeting with Colonel Favors. Some women were taken. Elders beaten. Bastards. Yeah, this isn't gonna be nice. There it is. Should be fine. Let's get ourselves hidden and wait till it gets dark. 
Over here. I guess this is it. I guess it is. Let's keep quiet. And try and find a way in. Main thing is that they don't hear us. You ready? Patrol group. Hopefully we'll be in and out before they can come back around. There's two guards out front. If you take one, I'll take the other. Nice and quiet. Oh, I know. Good. Let's make our way around the back. Stay close to the wall. There's a guard right above us. Okay, let's go. Before you take one, I got the other. At least you're inside. Okay, come on. Around the back. This is the spot. Shot on him. Okay. Quick, this way. Shit. Another guard on the walkway. again. Good work. Come on. Let's go. Wait. I'll make sure the tower's clear. Come on. We're good. There's a guard out front. You take him. I'll cover back there. Down this way. We'll never get past these guards. Get up that tower and try to distract them. Try to put an arrow into the lantern above that stack of wood over there. Start a fire. Fire near the animal! 
down here. In here. Follow me. Do something. I think it's make more pull up after eating this brain. Oh. That's a joke. No. No joke. Not funny. Arthur Morgan? Charles? Is that you? Look for the keys. You have to get me out of here. We're gonna get you out. I'll check the table, Arthur. You search the body. Got it. father sent us my father he told you to come and kill guards no he didn't say that he of course not you okay sure enjoy being tortured clears the mind if you say so uh, whoa, whoa. Uh, i'm fine i'm fine I think we're sneaking out of here, fellas. You must be out of your mind. Come Blair. on, move up. Free fire. Smells like dead meat and meat. Almost got me. You must do not let them out of here. More them ahead of us. Damn it! 
We got more of them on the riverbank. Where you ready? Ready? I'm fine. Give me a gun. I can help. Just keep your head down. On the left. That nearly hit me. Another one. Right. Look out. On the left. Be ready for more trouble up ahead. On the right. Look out. This is where you die! I don't see any more of them. They won't give up easily. Stay ready! Ah, no, I was wrong! Two more on the left! Don't kill their horses! We could use them to ride out of here. I don't see any more of them. Let's get over to the shore. I think we lost them. Come on. <coughs> you okay, Arthur? Yeah, I'm right as rain. How are you? I'll be fine in a day or so. I heal fast. Colonel Favors won't be too happy for your rescue. I guess not. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot more trouble. My father, even he may have to fight. You won't win. No big fight with them. Shouldn't y'all just run away? Where would we go? I don't know. In front, let me take you back to your phone. Hmm? <sighs> Thank you. No mind. Yeah. Sadie. You okay? Peachy. You sure? No, I ain't sure. You still working? Is anybody still working? The whole goddamn place full of people bickering, fighting, and lying. It makes me real sad. I know. I need someone to ride with me. Do what? Finish off them of Driscoll's. I hear the last of them is holed up at Hanging Dog Ranch. I don't have it in me no more. I saw Combs swing. I, I just don't care. I was a married woman. You know what they did to me and to my husband. But you're the only one of these fools that I trust. I've got to do this. I'll tell you what, I'll do it. But there's something you could help me with. Sure. You, me, and John. This whole thing is pretty much done, but Dutch still has our money hidden away, so... But how do you mean? When the time comes, just be uh, ready. What do you mean? I mean, if we can get out of here with money, you and me, we ain't... We're more ghosts than people. And none of that loyalty matters. Jesus. Okay. I'm with you. Well, then you got yourself a gun. What's left of one? Thank you, Arthur. You want to ride with me now, or 
Meet me up at Hanging Dog Ranch when you can. Thanks, Arthur. Okay. Come on. Hey. Hey. What's going on? I think there's a bunch of them in there, mostly drunk. One of them is a fat fellow with a beard. Him? He's mine. Sure. How are we doing this? We're just going in. <clears throat> okay, then. It's a big ranch. Run down. Lots of folk there. But spread pretty thin. I'll set it off and then we'll... We'll take it from there. Take... Get from there. Okay. So, no real plan then. Oh, I got a plan. Now, come on. I know that woman. She was with Dutch. Now, let's finish this. It's over now. Vanderlyn's ah, still after us. again. Okay? Yeah. He was a good man, my Jakey. sweet on one another. I'm sure. Yeah. 
I miss him every day, every moment. Oh, they turn me into a monster, Arthur. But my memories of him, they still pure. I ain't even got that. You know, you're a confusing man, but you might just be the best friend I got, Arthur. I know the company you keep. The competition ain't too fierce. <laughs> we, uh, we should get away from her. I think I need to be alone for a bit. I understand. You, uh, I want to get yourself cleaned up. Thank you, Arthur. <sighs> we need guns for what's coming. Cleet and Joe know how to fight. <clears throat> it's lucky I bumped into him. What is going on, Dutch? What is happening to us? What's happening to you? You show him some respect. Excuse me. Mr. Vandalin! Mr. Morgan! Charles! They try to kill my people for oil! For oil! Today we ride once more! Ride with me! Ride with us! Ride with us against the factory! I love your courage, son. It is a thing of great beauty. Stop! Everyone, stop! My son, my last son, don't. When I was your age, I fought. I saw death. I have killed. The men I knew were slain. My firstborn, your brother, had his head smashed by a drunken soldier. My wife had her throat slit. I made peace. I knew not to trust, yet I had no choice. Maybe you were right. Maybe the slow death is worse than the fast one. Maybe none of these men are good. Maybe a world in which they came to us is a world that we cannot endure. But endure we must. Father, you are tired. Do not die for pride, my son. We have suffered too much in this trick. The earth, the water, they have no pride. They endure, and we must endure. My only boy, my precious boy, do not mistake my strength for weakness. As your chief, I implore you. Your words mean nothing to me, father. Don't. Run with me, now! Stop. Please, stop. Please, Mr. Morgan. Have to help me after we spoke. This is just a trap. My son, my people will all die. You help this fellow, Arthur? Please. What of it? What else you been doing behind Dutch's back? What? The wars are over. We have lost. These young men will be annihilated. Please. I'll see what I can do. Charles. Who else will come with me? Oh, I'll ride, Arthur. Who knows what other secrets I'll learn about. Who else? I will. And me. Me too. Oh, and me. I guess. All right, let's ride out. What else have you been doing behind my back, Arthur? I was trying to stop this mess from getting any worse. Maybe that didn't work. Why the hell would they attack the oil fields? What do you mean? It's perfect. This was your idea? Partly. The army, the government, the industrialists. 
They've taken everything from these people. Wouldn't you want to fight back? You've handed them a death sentence. Just like John if we hadn't got him out of that prison. Hey, show some goddamn respect. You'll know when I ain't showing respect, Bill. I had a plan. I still have a plan. What plan? What goddamn plan, Dutch? Tahiti? Timbuktu? That's enough! What's wrong with you all? What happened to loyalty? Yeah, what did? Thank you, Javier, Bill. Right now, it doesn't matter how we got here. These men need our help. I have a plan. This is the plan. So either stick with me or cut loose. Because I am tired of this constant descent. Long tired of it. Now come on! Look up ahead. It's one of them. Are you all right, son? Eagle flies. He needs help. They all need help. Quick. Somebody help no. him. No, go. Please hurry, Alvi. Come on! Yeehaw! We gotta help these men. And anyone see Eagle Flash? There. Going across the walkway. Got what you wanted, Dutch. You coming, Arthur? I'm gonna try and save him. This fight is unwinnable. You go and distract them and let me get to him. Have it your way. The rest of you, ride with me. Let's meet up at the factory. Let's ride! Yeah! Go with him. Try and help there. I'm better off alone. We're riding with you. Come on, then. Let's ride!
Let's find the others. We need to get to the factory field. You thought we would have fight? Let's go! You're dead! Hey, Tom! Ah. You're alive! 